Hi there, I am Valdir Moreira and I am here to talk about our paper entitled IoT Sensing Platform for E-Agriculture in Africa. So, the motivation for our works uh, is uh, related to the uh, the food demand that we witness uh, every day and uh, the um, fact that food production and quality must have its process um, optimized. Uh, also, we see that uh, small scale farmers are um, responsible for most of the produce that we see today in, in the supermarkets or in the stores. And um, in the case of um, Africa, uh, the size of these, um, of these lands, let's say, uh, is less than a hectare. So we're really talking about small scale farmers here. And there is a really strong contribution from women since they stay uh, uh, taking care of the farms uh, while the husbands probably move to lower centers to, to work and as a way of complementing their income. Um, also, the access to fertilizers is really expensive, especially in Africa. So this is mostly due to import and transport and all the taxes that are added to the, to the final value prior to the consumer um, acquisition. Um, in this case, um, we also see that there is a very big potential of the information and communication technologies to be applied uh, as a way of improving uh, the process in, in, in rural farming uh, for small scale farmers. And that means considering sensing and relevant information about the soil, about the environment and providing recommendations to, to the farmers. Um, so a little bit about the project Africa to which this IoT Sense platform is part is that uh, in a nutshell, the project wants to develop a green energy solution to support uh, on-site fertilizer production. So the idea is actually just based on air or combination of air with oxygen uh, by through a plasma reactor and producing um, fertilizers that will be used by these farmers to uh, improve the, um, the capabilities of their land. And uh, the work uh, presented here on the paper is related mostly to the sensing part. So the system has the plasma reactor and the sensing uh, part um, and computer vision part looking at the quality of the soil and uh, this information is um, sent to a backend which is analyzed and will trigger the production of fertilizers uh, and then this uh, system will also tell the farmers or the soil experts uh, about their status of the soil and how to apply these fertilizers. So mostly this is um, the project of Africa in a nutshell. So the, the research objectives here that we look at is we want to, with, with this paper, we want to define an architecture uh, for this uh, IoT sensing platform that will sense soil ambient and will be also based on camera to uh, be um, integrated into a single platform. And within the context of the papers, we, we also want to develop the, these prototypes um, and understand all the hardware requirements to have this integrated sensing platform. And also regarding this paper, we present some pre uh, preliminary um, evaluation results on, on the prototype to, to validate each of them. Um, so in order to build this IoT sensing platform uh, that is focused on low cost of the shelf hardware, uh, we first design, designed the architecture for, for the platform itself and regarding the sensing part, we decided to follow a do-it-yourself approach um, and also consider every piece of hardware like sensors, probes and any other hardware that are found, easily found in the target communities. 
regarding the computer vision study, uh, the idea is actually to analyze images that are collected from the soil and to help provide more information on the status of the soils, like uh, color and texture. So, regarding the major outcomes of the of the paper, we can say that uh, we were able to define the IoT sensing platform, uh, as we can see here in the photo, um, and. Um, here, what we have is the platform that provides uh, 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 links to either a cloud or a smartphone. And um, the sensing box has different interfaces. Um, so Wi-Fi and Bluetooth may uh, have Bluetooth low energy interface uh, to allow communication uh, to the cloud or to a smartphone. And all different other interfaces are the ones that are connected to the sensors themselves that will be sensing the field, namely the humidity, the pH, the light, the temperature, and the camera sensor will be actually capturing uh, photos of the of the soil to um, uh, help with the analysis that is done to define color and texture. Uh, so regarding the sensing, uh, the target readings were pH, moisture, temperature, and light. Uh, all the hardware were, uh, that we consider in the testing the, or designing, defining the prototypes were based on uh, hardware that could be easily found in the African market because we want to uh, have a solution that is really reproducible and uh, adopted uh, by the local uh, farmers and, and, and local experts. And we also want to avoid um, this uh, forever lasting important customs processes that will may impair uh, the solution to be assembled uh, um, in the first place. So the hardware is based on low cost off the shelf and uh, the prototypes that we built were based on the soil moisture combined with an Arduino, the pH with pandlets and the temperature with the and light with the IO tip and the communication interface was considering the Bluetooth low energy. A side note here, the pandlets and the IoTip are technologies that have been developed by Franofa Portugal and the pandlets is a collection of sensors uh, and, and, and is able to um, sense uh, different uh, characteristics of the environment and um, will uh, help De design easily uh, IoT um, solutions. Uh, and the IoT is actually an uh, evolution of the pandlets. So you can follow up some more information and the link is provided there. Um, so these are the three prototypes that we built uh, separately. So the soil moisture with the other window and, and this probe um, is something that you can find easily in the market. Um, then you have the IoT with the temperature and light sensors built in in this small uh, board. And then you have the pH sensor with the Pandlet's platform uh, combined to measure uh, the pH solution. Um, in the case of the computer vision, the idea is actually to uh, capture texture and color based on image analysis and the main task performed by the computer vision algorithms could be understood as the controlled image acquisition, the enhancement of the contrast, threshold and net detection, and uh, color-based, space-based feature extraction based on the TCGFE library uh, that was also, also developed by Fernof Portugal, and you can get a little bit more details on the paper uh, referred on this slide. The hardware to build this part of the computer vision includes a Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi camera, and LEDs and LED driver to control and, and light the captured uh, site or, or piece of soil in this case. So this is the um, prototype for the computer vision. On the top left, you have a uh, very uh, big perspective of the, of the solution, which shows the LEDs, uh, where the camera is, and how it's hooked to do the Arduino and all the uh, solutions that control the LEDs. Um, on the top right, 
you can clearly see where the Raspberry Pi is sitting and on the bottom you can see um, how the camera is integrated with this structure that holds the LEDs for helping capture the um, images. Um, so uh, as conclusions and next steps, the IoT sensing platform uh, considers different sensing technologies and is combined with a computer vision study. Uh, this is all part of the project Africa that the main target is to support fertilizer productions for small-scale farmers in rural Africa and especially try to uh, empower women that are in also doing farming in, uh, in, in the target locations. And um, the different prototypes considered the most relevant readings uh, that were defined within the context of the project, considering the um, crop types that we were looking upon. So pH, moisture, temperature, and light, mostly vegetables and maize. Um, the, pre the preliminary validation served the purpose to evaluate the viability of, uh, of um, the prototypes. And in this case, we managed to test the pH, temperature, and image, uh, image acquisition uh, part. Um, and then as next steps, we want to validate the, the remaining prototypes, moisture, light, and image features, and then integrated all of that, of course, into a single sensing box so we can further deploy and validate through field tests. Um, to conclude, I would like to acknowledge the European Commission, the LIP Agri program, and FCT, which are the organizations that have been funding the Project Africa and the work um, showcased in this paper. So thank you very much, and I am ready to take in any questions uh, as you have them. Yeah.